What do you do with your scraps after you're done laser cutting and you've made some projects and you have pieces left over that are like weird? Well, you use them to make smaller objects and that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is killing three birds with two lasers and one computer because I have three projects I need to get completed and I'm going to show you what they are because uh, something you can do at home, very simple pro process and we could even call this a beginner laser project because we're going to make some Christmas ornaments and I'm going to be using two lasers at the same time with one computer and I just did a video on that that I'll have a link to the end of you can watch to see how to do that it's uh, if you happen to have two lasers and yes I've even done three before but it becomes confusing so I'll get into what I'm doing here and show you what the setups are so here's what I'm making. I'm making some uh, ornaments, a lot of them, uh, just laser cut basic ornaments for a daycare. And uh, what this uh, project will entail at the daycare is the kids will use, uh, of course, non-toxic paints and they can decorate their own ornaments and then take them home. Uh, this was uh, very, very popular to daycare last year. So I am making them a bunch to do for the kids to decorate this year. That's what's in these little plastic containers. Um, I also have some orders for these guys. I'll be cutting parts of those. As, as you can see, it's a bunch of small parts. It's a good place to use up scraps. And down here, I have an order for a bunch of snowflakes. So I'm going to get all those cut out of all these scraps. And I'm actually running two lasers at the same time here to try to get all this done at once. I also have a, another order here for some snowflake ornaments. Those are over here, and they will be in different sizes. So uh, we'll get on with it here, and I'll show you how this works. It's not as difficult as it sounds. Okay, I have both of my uh, lasers set up here where I need them to be. So I'll just hit start here. We'll get each one started. Of course, this generates a lot of smoke, and I do have the shop door open, even though it's quite cold outside. It would be nice to have the overhead door open. Uh, it would also be nice to uh, be using these in one of my enclosures, but then you wouldn't be able to see what was going on. I do have enclosures on lasers I have up in the loft, and then that uh, vents to a blower, which blows all this outside. But you can't see inside those what's going on. So give you a, close, a little bit closer look here of what each one's cutting. This is the Acmer P1. Of course we're doing snowflakes on both of these right now. And this is the Atom Stack A30 Pro. And this is all being cut on uh, eighth inch plywood. The uh, Atom Stack here is running at 600 millimeters per minute at 80 percent power. And the Acmer is running at 400 millimeters per minute at 90 percent power. Both of these are one pass. So as you can see here this does generate quite a bit of smoke. Both of these are on honeycomb boards. Both of them have air assist turned on and the smoke is uh, for the most part going right towards the shop door and going outside. So that will show you there what you can do with your scraps, uh, <clears throat> snowflakes, small Christmas ornaments, any other type of small objects you may need to make. Uh, save those scraps. Always make things out of them. So again, these are some simple ornaments uh, intended for kids. So you've got like a stars, you've got just a simple ball, and they can color and decorate those any way they like. There's a bell. And of course, different size snowflakes. So um, there'll be a file available in the link in the description where you can go to get the light burn file for these simple ornaments for kids. Uh, some of these more complex ones, these are copyrighted and those won't be in there. But these uh, very simple ones will. And it's a good project for some kids, get them involved, get them some non toxic paints. Uh, even their craft acrylic paints, most of them are non-toxic. Check the label, of course, and let them decorate. And as far as decorating, it could be something just as simple as just uh, painting them a color. Versus only painting on one side. 
or you know just uh, basic colors or they could paint this a color and put something else on top of it or if you wanted to do something like that or if you want to get a little bit more exotic you could take like a star and you can also cut out a uh, outline of a star and that could be glued together and you could layer it and of course color is up to you and what you would want to put in the middle maybe you'd want to get exotic and put a snowflake in the center so it's all what the kids want to do it's uh, whole intention here is to make it fun for the kids so there's a way to use up your scraps and I do mean use them up and I've got another pile over there of everything of scrap I've cut out so yes it's noisy I still got both of these lasers on and the air assist so it makes a little noise however Good project for kids. As you can see there, they can decorate them any way they like. I, that was just a couple of quick little examples. Um, I am donating these to this particular daycare uh, for these kids to give them a little Christmas project, to give them a little something to do to take home. Uh, the snowflakes I had, uh, that was an order, and I've got another order for some other ornaments here. So I'm going to get these lasers running again, get them going. Again, there will be a link in the description of where you can go to get the light burn file for these simple ornaments for kids. There's no charge for it. It's a free download. Uh, what lasers I'm using here, it's been the Atom Stack Maker A30 Pro with a Nivel honeycomb board and then the uh, Acmer P1 with a uh, Jakota honeycomb board. I've got all kinds of different brands of boards and lasers and stuff around here. Uh, the Atom Stacks in A30 is a 30 watt, the Acura P1 is a 20 watt. Uh, they both do an excellent job. Uh, I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in either one of these models because I'm sure they'd like to sell you one. And no, this isn't sponsored by anybody. This is, I uh, just thought I'd show that <clears throat> a little something you could do with the kid, for the kids, and, which is simple, and you could go as young as probably three years old with uh, some basic watercolor paints and let the kids have some fun. Uh, you get into the older ages, you could probably do something a little bit more exotic by making layers and etc. But the patterns will be there in that file. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.